since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ashari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. But the old books, the prophecies they contained, showed me all that might come to pass, and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens. The sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram, to stop the darkness that the star portends, and fulfill the destiny that beckons me. This place reeks of the dead. The fallen star must be near. Prophecy sent me in search of the star that fell on this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! Done. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them, just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral. And their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... The Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do.
We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon! My brother died defending this town, while that bloated coward tried to run away. I promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! There! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Dare attack me? Dear reader, I am Abdal Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. My knowledge increases. Drawing a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. the attacks, at least for now. In the eastern kingdom of Hejistan, I heard rumors of Zakarum warriors called Crusaders. While the natives were most reticent, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, 
just as Rakis took his army of paladins west. But these crusaders went east on a very different mission. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. My power grows. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. I've got some found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. And it is written. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Look! A hidden cellar! Follow me! I think there was more to your mother than you know. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I'll search the cathedral. You stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall.
So this is Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star is somewhere inside. This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. Still waiting. Tasks may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. My name is Last Dannon, and I am cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I lived only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. If only they could see me now. Oh, minions! Stay back! Back! May this wedge hold! The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered! Gods, bring me his bones! <laughs> I 
will save you! Back to your grave! Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, all that stands between me and the fallen star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again.